Good evening, and welcome to Christ Church. I want to take a moment of personal privilege this evening and invite you, no, beg you, to join your prayers with mine. Uh, for 15 odd years, St. Mark's Episcopal Church in Bay City, Texas, led and organized a medical mission. And that mission went year after year to a small community called Corinto, outside of Puerto Cortez in the country of Honduras. Honduras is a beautiful place if you've never been there. And a, a, a vistas of mountains with their feet in the sea is uh, barely describes the, the glorious uh, countryside in Honduras and the people who are so strong and so cheerful in what we would consider to be crushing poverty and adversity. Honduras was hit by a hurricane called Mitch and the destruction that happens when large amounts of rain fall in the mountains and must in, immediately go into the sea is uh, truly something you have to see to behold. That's about to happen again. Uh, Etta, which was a storm a couple of weeks ago, hit in uh, Nicaragua, which is just next door to Honduras. And Honduras was on the wet side of that storm. Now, Iota is about to hit. Etta was a Category 4. Iota is forecast to be a Category 5. And the two landfalls may be as close as 50 miles from one another. This is unprecedented. We have never seen, let alone in November, two major hurricanes strike the same coast within such a short period of time. Our friends in Louisiana have experienced multiple strikes this year also. And so I invite your prayers, I beg your prayers for the people of Nicaragua and Honduras and Guatemala who are unable to defend themselves, unable to escape or flee, who must only stay, shelter, endure, and hope. And their prayers will be mightily aided by your prayers. This is a prayer to be used in a storm at sea. O oh, most powerful and glorious Lord God, at whose command the winds blow and lift up the waves of the sea, and who stilleth the rage thereof, we thy creatures, but miserable sinners, do in this our great distress cry unto thee for help. Save, Lord, or else we perish. We confess when we have been safe and seen all things quiet about us, we have forgot thee in our God and refuse to hearken to the still voice of thy word and to obey thy commandments. But now we see how terrible thou art in all thy works of wonder, the great God to be feared above all. And therefore we adore thy divine majesty, acknowledging thy power and imploring thy goodness. Help, Lord, and save us for thy mercy's sake. In Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night, a perfect end, and empathy for our neighbors who are in great danger. Good night.